Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening. Welcome to all my brothers and sisters from around the world. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you for being here one more evening, one more afternoon, one more morning, studying the Word of God with me. I want to tell you that I appreciate you in every way that you are taking time out to study the Word of God with me. Father, in the name of Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, continue to touch each and every one of us, Father God. Continue to elevate us at a higher spiritual level with wisdom, with your understanding in your word, Father God. We need you, Father God. Keep pouring out your discernment, your protection upon us in Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, precious name. And today is the word of today. And in this word of today, is God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he reap. You will reap accordingly to what you do done in the world. And I'm going to be reading about this wickedness in the world. How people go out in the world and do rituals. They sell their soul to the devil. They do all this wickedness just to attain riches, to attain wealth. They even do a lot of fleshly, they give their blood to the devil. And I will be reading from the first book of John, chapter 2, from verse 15 through 17. I read, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the loss thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And he that obeys God, and he or she that follow God will abide and remain and enjoy eternal life with the Lord. I'm moving right now to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, we are not going to conform to the standards of the world. When we see people over here doing drugs, doing whatever, we don't look back at those things. We move forward. We will not be conformed to the wickedness that is happening around us, but we're going to stay focused on the world to a higher standard. When the enemy come in as a flood, God will raise up a standard. Let's go to the book of 1 John 2.15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And in the book of James chapter 4, 4, Ye adulterous and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is the enemy of God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And we find that today, people are just looking and going. They want this, they want the hair done, they want the nails done, they want the, yeah, they, they want everything in the world. They want to listen to their favorite artist, to their favorite rapper, to their favorite song. They want, they want this and they want that. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men and after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. And that's pertaining to the false church, to the false bishops and the false pastors and the false teacher and the false prophetess and those who teach doctrines of devils and demons. Beware of the wickedness in this world. Beware of those who teach you false prophecy, false doctrines, who indoctrinize you, hypnotize you with vain words and vain repetition. They, they teach you psychology, humanistic philosophy. They teach you logical thinking. Amen. They teach you psychology. They teach you sociology. They teach you witchcraft. They hypnotize you. 
They enchant you. They have gold dust rolling, falling from the ceiling. They tell you a lie. They tell you to repeat a lie. They make you a proselyte. They put seven more devils inside of you than what you already have. They indoctrinize you in the occultic. They have you do satanic ritual and satanic ritualistic demonic worship. From those, stay away. Keep your eyes on the word of God. Amen. And this is the word of today. God is not mocked. Love the world. Go down with the world. My name is Dr. PJ. Have a wonderful day. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.